out, guys. Look over there. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted Eagle Rays can be found in the Indo-Pacific region, the West Pacific region, the Indian Ocean and the Southwest Atlantic Ocean. They usually live in shallow waters with coral reefs and a maximum depth of 80 meters. They spend their time swimming freely in open water. They are generally found in warm waters throughout the world. This is Gernard Fish. Currently there are many hobbyists who choose flying Gernard fish to fill their aquariums. Food that tends to be easy to care for also makes this fish relatively easy to care for. However, that doesn't mean there are no challenges at all in keeping Gernard flying fish. With a maximum size of up to 50 centimeters. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are distributed in tropical waters, at a depth of 30 meters, ranging from the Indian Ocean to South Africa, from the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Zanzibar, Sizalensa, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Rarely found in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. This is Gulper Eel. Gulper Eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. There is a clownfish. Even though clownfish appear cute and harmless, we should not ignore their natural nature as voracious predators in the wild. The tiny clownfish has a big appetite for plankton, small crustaceans and other microscopic organisms that are found in seawater. This prey activity is an important part of the marine food chain. This is a moray eel. The most surprising thing is that moray eels apparently have two jaws, each equipped with two sets of very sharp teeth. The first jaw is located in the moray eel's mouth and the other jaw is located in the throat which functions to break down food which then enters the digestive system. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish do not have a skeleton that can help them move. Their skeleton serves as protection. They move using a water vascular system. They depend on two feet located on the ventral side of the snake star's arms, which function for movement and help with feeding. There is crab! Some types of crabs will reproduce by standing. If the copulation process is complete, the male crab will guard the female crab for some time. Later the female crab will produce eggs which can reach up to 20,000 eggs. Even so, Female crabs will only lay eggs once in their lifetime. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is blue whale! Even though blue whales look very big, their food is small. Blue whales only eat small shrimp such as krill. However, the number of shrimp eaten in a day can reach 40 million. When migrating, blue whales eat very little. Most blue whales survive on fat reserves. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs have five pairs of legs or a total of ten legs. Uniquely, these feet have their respective functions. The largest pair of legs is used for pinching and grabbing food. The second and third pairs of legs are used for walking. The fourth pair is used for getting in and out of the shell. And the fifth pair of legs is used to clean and remove dirt from the shell. This is squid. Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. There is an octopus. Octopuses can change color and pattern. When an aggressive male octopus is about to attack another octopus, 
He will often darken, rise from the sea floor, and spread his arms in a way that increases his size. Sometimes he would lift his coat, the entire back of his body, over his head. There is lobster! Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. This is boxfish. Boxfish are recognized by their box-shaped bodies and honeycomb patterns on their skin. Boxfish have incredible defense mechanisms to ward off predators. They release a toxin called ostracotoxin through their skin, which can be toxic to anything around it. This poison can be very dangerous for humans because it can destroy red blood cells. This is mouth bass. Largemouth bass, Micropterus samoids, is an aquatic fish. They are a popular sport fish but can become invasive when introduced to new lakes and rivers. They are apex predators that primarily eat fish, but also eat insects, crustaceans. This is a crayfish. Crayfish do not taste food using their mouths. They taste food with their feet. There are fine hairs on the legs with chemosensory or chemical sensor functions to identify food. Antennas are used to find food that is far away. Crayfish also chew with their stomachs, just like crabs and starfish. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is a Dacophotoformer! Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Garfish. Apart from their large size, one of the characteristics that differentiates alligator fish from other gar fish is their teeth. Their teeth are super sharp and resemble needles. In each jaw there are two rows of teeth, with the outer row of teeth tending to be longer and larger than the inner row of teeth. The main thing is, don't get bitten by this fish. This is Ammonite. Ammonites continue to make new shells as they grow, but they live outside the shell. They walk through the warm shallow ocean while spraying water radiating from their bodies. A thin, Pipe-like structure called a siphuncle leads into the shell's interior chamber to pump and suck in air that helps them move through the water. This is dolphin. Dolphins are very social creatures. Dolphins often move around in groups of around 2 to 30 dolphins. In groups, they benefit each other to protect themselves from attacks by predators and hunting. Some dolphins even move in groups of hundreds of members, especially during mating season or where there is an abundance of food. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male puffer fish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.